It was sometime in October last year. I was experimenting with DMT, trying to discover the truth about reality, as I've always known something unusual is going on here. It was nighttime, and I consumed two grams of Syrian rue seeds orally to get some MAOI in my system. I waited around an hour before vaporizing 25 milligrams of yellowish spirit molecule. I laid down and put an eye mask on, and I found myself in a grand palace which had a black and white checkerboard pattern, and there were jester faces in the wall pursuing me, which were ahead of me, while my soul traveled linearly down the palace. Now, now the jester is an entity that for some reason I have experienced every single time I've taken DMT. It's always in these black and white checker pattern textured settings. It's some sort of disembodied face and it has these big bulging eyes with thick black eyeliner. It has a big mouth which switches from frowning to smiling wide in a few seconds and some sort of tongue it sticks out at you. It has eyebrows too. It has a very mocking vibe and it seems to try to attempt to scare you. It just seems to stare at you and give you all of its attention. All right, so I'm in this palace and these jester faces are in the walls following me. They're sticking their tongues out at me and I do the same back at them. Nothing particularly interesting happens and the, the trip ends in about 14 minutes thanks to the MAOI extending it a bit. I found myself unimpressed, not really getting much out of this trip and I spend the next 10 minutes debating if I should go deeper. And I decide to do so. I decide to experiment with music to see if it influences anything. I load up 30 milligrams, vape it, lay back and slip on the eye mask. Immediately I'm back in the checkered palace. The jesters are there too, where they had just been. I'm completely disinterested in it and sort of ignore it and I say to myself, what a freaking circus, commenting to the palace as it always seems like these clowns or jesters are in these befitting circuses. And I was completely disenfranchised with them at this point, so I was basically sick of them and essentially turned my attention away from them. Then suddenly something happened. The jesters and the checkerboard pattern vanished and the trip suddenly started transforming with color and geometry. This kaleidoscopic, beautiful geometric circle or mandala of many colors, primarily pinkish and purplish tones, started manifesting in front of me. It grew larger and larger as my soul moved towards it, and suddenly this massive keyhole-shaped portal, or door, materializes in the middle of it, and behind it there were more doors. Eventually they all opened, and this humanoid entity walked through them. This humanoid entity had a green head which seemed like an inverted triangle. It was quite unattractive and honestly ugly. It had a bullish cow-shaped head. It donned this wizard-looking purple, pinkish, maroon robe and the seams of the robe had some golden alien inscription letters on them. I felt that it was an entity of great power and had a high standing. It moved towards me and suddenly everything vanished. It felt like this entity had intercepted me. I'm teleported somewhere. Everything is very dark and I don't recall any visuals exactly. I feel like a more pure form of consciousness or awareness at this point occupying a singular point in space and my ego is objectified. I'm still aware of my human identity but I'm not attached to it. I feel the presence of a council of entities surrounding me and I'm in the middle of them all. They sort of feel subordinate to me and short of stature. And suddenly a monsoon of information is downloaded into my brain and everything is completely overwhelming. They were basically saying telepathically that you are the eternal ultimate awareness which has always existed and everything exists as a form of entertainment and experience for you and there is nothing else to do you have been doing this for all of eternity what's strange is that I, I already sort of deduced that this was the purpose of reality long before I tried DMT so they may have just been feeding back to me the assumptions I already had about reality so I then react by saying are you serious is that is this all that this is 
because I always wanted to be wrong about what I thought about reality, but instead this council was basically confirming my beliefs. They replied, well, what else were you expecting? And I felt one of the entities in the council get sad, I'm assuming due to my reaction. I sort of reached out to them and quickly apologized. No, no, I'm sorry, don't, don't be sad. And that's the last thing I remember while in the presence of that council. They then disappear and it feels like I'm thrown down the DMT realm, sort of floating in a black void. I'm quite comfortable here. It feels like a womb. I'm becoming more lucid at this point of our consensus reality. The music starts to reappear. I don't even ever recall hearing it while I was in the trip. I found myself agitated and frustrated. I ripped off my eye mask and got out of bed. I started swearing at everything in the room, and I also said unusual things which I reflect on to this day. And for the record, the trip lasted about 17 minutes. Do whatever the freak you want. As in, if you want to climb Mount Everest, go do that. If you want to be a musician, go do that. This trip made me feel like anything is possible, and a person is limitless. God exists. I created him. I was speaking from the perspective in the context of being the ultimate awareness, implying that the ultimate consciousness invented God, which is interesting. I've only recently come across the concept that God and the Godhead are different, which is probably what I was referring to in this moment for some reason. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Okay, that was one of the more interesting trips that I've come across. Okay, what did you think about it? What did you think about the gestures that he saw in this grand palace with the black and white checkerboard floor? What did you think about the entity that he came across? And what do you think about the council and what they told him? What do you think about those things? I'll tell you what I think. I think that uh, this trip was special for a few reasons. Uh, in the very beginning, he talks about taking his dose and then laying down and putting his eye mask on. And if you've ever had, <clears throat> excuse me, if you've ever had a breakthrough dose, then you simply know that's impossible. Once you break through, your body shuts down. There is no more body. There is no more you. There is just the part of you that goes to that other place. You know what I'm saying? Um, but the fact that he was able to lay down and sort of still have control over his body lets me know that it wasn't a full breakthrough experience. But just because it's not a full breakthrough experience doesn't mean uh, that you won't be fully immersed in that plane, in that realm, whatever, wherever it is. Oh, no, it'll be very real. Um, and it's the same with other psychedelics as well. Psilocybin. Um, even sometimes cannabis. Definitely LSD. Uh, they have the ability, at least in my experience, to take your mind's eye visuals, right? Think about your mom. Think about your dog. Oh, you can see them. Okay. That mind's eye visual. They have the ability to take those visuals and fully immerse you in them. Your thoughts become reality to a certain degree. You can see them. You can see your imagination. You can see your thoughts as if you are in the movie. Yeah. Um, psychedelics have that ability. And so perhaps with the level that he was going at uh, with the DMT dosage, it allowed him to be on the cusp of a breakthrough. Yeah. And experiencing all these wild visuals and experiences with a hyper tuned in mind's eye. Right. Or traveling somewhere with the mind's eye. Who knows? I don't know these things. Yeah. But without fully breaking through and fully going overboard and being bombarded with a whole bunch of information that he can't really process. I don't know. I'm just guessing here. But I thought that was really interesting because it's not typical to be able to lay down and control your body after taking a, uh, uh, a breakthrough DMT dose. Um, and also maybe the MAOI, the enzyme inhibitor, had something to do with it. Um, I thought it was really cool how he came across this non-human intelligence, this entity in the in the wizard robe with the little with the little symbols on it. Um, he didn't hang out with it long before it zapped him somewhere else. Let me know if you've seen any uh, entities, aliens, non-human intelligences in the comments and what your experience was like with them. 
Um, and then lastly, with the council, that was pretty cool. I was trying to get a hold on whether or not, you know, what they were telling him was from them or actually from him. Um, but the one thing that stood out was when they were talking about you are the pretty much you are the infinite uh, playing out different scenarios, experiencing itself. And I thought about that. And could that be the case? We're just thinking out loud here, y'all. OK, could that be the case? You know, that we're all shards of the greater mirror or this or just rays of this greater light that we call God. But the only thing that the infinite would ever not be able to do is to have limits, is to not be infinite. Think about that for a second. Like the only thing that the infinite is not able to do is to stop being itself, right? Otherwise it wouldn't be infinite. That's an extreme example, but that's one of many examples that the infinite could experience through breaking itself up into smaller pieces of consciousness, a.k.a. us, to be able to then become small, experience itself, and reintegrate that entire experience. Who knows? I don't have the answers. I just like to ask the questions. Um, it was awesome hanging out with you guys for this trip report. Look forward to another one. I'm in the process of finding out exactly how to move forward with this channel. As of now, what I'm doing is I'm bringing three videos per week, a meditation video, a video just like this one where I animate a trip report and narrate it. And then um, on the weekends will be my personal story time with more of the candlelit setting, talking ASMR, very chill, da 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 where we talk about whatever the hell I want to talk about. Um, let me know in the comments what seems the most appealing to you, what do you like the most, um, I'm going to see how they do and ultimately make my decision based off of that and what you guys want. I just want to I just want to offer dope entertainment to you guys. I want to build community. I want to have a place where we can just come and hang out and talk about weird stuff. Yeah. And really ask meaningful questions and maybe get inspiration from one another. Um, anyway, tonight's been great and I will see you in the next video. See ya.